Pure Meadows is coming on a treat. Uh, it's been a real inspiring journey for us. Yeah, so picture paints a thousand words. As you can see, the main frame has gone up and we're looking now to start the cladding process and put the roof on and put the triple pane glazing in. So it's an exciting time and you can see the transformation. You can start to get a sense and a feel of just how stunning these houses really are gonna be. So today, the house is getting its wrap. This is gonna protect it from the weather. We can start to see things now that, this, that makes this house special and different. We've got the nice thick cavity with a big void that we're gonna fill with insulation. It's gonna be like a big cozy blanket. It's gonna go up through the ceiling, down through the walls and under the floor and all the way around. We're able to install a nice ventilation system. We're putting in what are called easy joists. And it's gonna allow us to feed these big ducts all the way through the flooring without causing ourselves any difficulties. We've got these big windows that you can start to see. They're gonna be have their triple glazing in there. That's gonna maximize the heat coming in in the winter through that from the sunshine and allow the occupiers to actually connect with this beautiful environment all around it. At this point, it's really critical that these elements are built right, built with care, some time and attention. We're doing simple things, but we've got to do them well because once that cladding goes on, we're not gonna be able to go back into the building to improve on things without causing a big drama and unnecessary amounts of work. So attention to detail through this phase, that's what we've got to give it, 100%. So you can see now they're putting the foundations in for the second house, and we're gonna see some rapid growth now, and the development of the team, and the development of how we're approaching the task <laughs> has been a great success. So it will go up much more effectively this time round. And we had a cracking start. The weather was absolutely stunning. And we made some good progress with demolition, clearing the site, getting it all prepped and ready. The overall aim to revolutionise the built environment. It's a big task, but it's a valuable task. And it's one that gets you up out of bed in the morning and gets you ready to take the day on. We're not without challenges. And then winter came. There was a big problem. We'd been dealing with um, Storm Dennis and Kira and, and heavy rains all winter. The site was completely waterlogged and it didn't matter what we did, we couldn't dry it out. And then we found the cause of it all. Huge sewer that had been laid and they'd bust other sewers along the way. We had water channeling down onto the site and it had nowhere to go. The drains were a real challenge and for day-to-day -day operations, for the guys coming down, it's dark, it's wet and they're literally swimming about in mud each day. You can imagine how challenging that has been. The beauty of it all was it meant that it could be fixed. The site is bone dry now with water being diverted away. I've got full credit and full respect for what they've done. Uh, they've bounced back, they've made it happen. Now we're getting onto the fun stuff, which is building houses. So things were looking up. And then spring came around. Now my risk assessment didn't really have a space for COVID-19. We've just started building coronavirus hits. Our lenders, who we'd agreed terms with and started to make financial commitments with, phoned us up and told us that they wasn't gonna lend the money. They were gonna put it on pause. So you can imagine what goes through your head when you've invested thousands and thousands of pounds into a project and then the lender pulls out. We're hit with a dilemma. It's been a huge challenge. I think every business has been knocked by it. 
but we kept our chin up and we, we, we looked for solutions all the way. We managed social distancing, we managed our supply chain, we slowed things down, we made sensible decisions, but it was a really hard time to get through. The property market is declining. As a house builder, that's a major challenge. It's really gonna test our metal. And this is a perfect test now to see how committed we are as a company, how committed the market is to our product. We believe in our product. We believe in what we're doing. And we are putting everything on the line. Because of the, uh, the values that we've got as a company, We've managed to align ourselves with a better lender who sees the vision of the company, supports the goals of the company, and it, it, we've really turned it round to our advantage. We've got a better opportunity now than we previously had, and that is a perfect example of how we are going to bounce back from all adversity. The guys, I'm really proud of them. What a team that we've got coming together. They've managed to see this, this phase through and we can see that moving into, into summer and autumn that the project's going to be really rolling and on track. Next phase of the build is to see the house become airtight. We'll be fitting the windows, triple glazed, high quality windows, airtightness on the inside and then we can test it to see if it's going to contain all that energy and be a beautiful warm home for the occupiers and then we'll dress the house, putting on a beautiful roof and then the Siberian larch cladding. It's really gonna to come to shape in the next phase. We're very, very excited.